Hey guys, Jackson here with Everly Stock. Uh, we got another Gear Pro question from Tim. He's going on a hunt and he was asking, can we run the bat wings with the new Vapor, version two Vapor? Uh, this is the 5,000, he's using the 5,000. The answer is yes, you can run the bat wings with pretty much any of the, the EMOD setups and you can run them with any of the Vapors, 5,000 or 2,500 or even the old 7,500s. Um, so this is gonna be the most ideal way, in our opinion, to set it up. There's a couple ways to do it, just like everything. Um, but the way we've got it right here, um, you can see we've got the two bat wings just directly on the back there. The two bat wings are actually zipped together just to give this some form, so that way it's not super loose. If these were separated, what you could do, you could maybe slide one around this way or slide one around that way. Um, the way these are on there is simply just on the compression straps. So I'll unbuckle these here so you can see how they're on there. The bat wings actually have uh, some, some loops on the back. And so the way we like to do it is just run those compression straps through. They're evenly spaced out. One will just go across the top. The middle one will go through the middle, bottom one through the bottom. And then you can pull those around and you can get that as tight as you need. Uh, the nice thing about this is uh, it still lets you have access to these side pockets and you could actually strap some stuff down like a tripod or some trekking poles. Um, it'll still give you access to your water. Um, so now another way you could do this, if you really wanted to uh, switch it up and you didn't like that, that the only downfall to doing it that way is you do lose um, access to this back pocket here on the, on the vapor. So the other way you can do this, give me just a second here. run these straps back through. You can actually get, you can put these compression straps away um, with this next, the next way here. Don't, don't lose these though, make sure to put them somewhere safe. All right, so we'll get rid of those guys. Put those off the side here. Now, what we recommend when you're running the vapor and you're not using the compression straps, is you wanna take your vapor buckles you want to run them straight to the frame and you want to take that strap and you want to keep that and you want to cinch that tight when you cinch that tight that's going to suck your front your vapor up to the frame and it's going to eliminate all that wiggle now when you've got your bat wings another way to run the bat wings on the vapor here and you can do this with the new vapor of course or the old vapor you're now you're going to separate your bat wings so we're just going to take one on each side here notice again the loops in the back and you're just going to line up those loops with these straps here. All right. So again, we're going to take that top, top strap, we're going to thread it through those loops. We're going to buckle it to the side of the frame there, get that nice and tight. And we're going to do the same thing going down this side here. Won't make you suffer through and watch, watch us do it all the way and watch us do both sides but you get the idea. So then you're gonna have your third one. And then if you get that nice and tight, your bat wing will just sit right on the side like that. Now again, we recommend it doing the other way, mainly because your load gets a lot wider here. So if you're going through trees or you're going through brush or anything thick, getting these bat wings off the sides and on your back is gonna be a lot more streamlined. Um, another thing, again, it just doesn't allow you to access your water bottle pocket or really carry, a ton of stuff on the sides but it is another good option so you have access to this back pocket so again guys the answer is yes you can totally use the bat wings and the new vapor and those are the two best ways to do it if you have any other questions feel free to reach out thanks a lot